Of course, it's finished. And Stadium 974 is ended. France 2, Denmark 1. An actual decent game of football, to be honest. And, uh, and yeah, it was an okay game of football. You know, two goals from Kylian Mbappe. The Champions Curse is over. If you don't know what the Champions Curse is, so let me just explain. So, basically, in, in 2006, Italy won the World Cup. In 2010, they were knocked out of the group stages. Spain won the World Cup in 2010. We're not, they were knocked out of the group stages in 2014. Germany won the 2014 tournament in Brazil. They were knocked out of the group stages in Russia 2018. France won the tournament last time. And, uh, yeah, it looks like they are not going out of this year's group stages. But, yeah, to be honest, a really good game of football, to be honest. You know, the first goal, quarter was from the main man. Kylian Mbappe was the goal. Um, good goal, to be honest. And obviously Denmark did respond, a corner, swung in by Christian Eriksen, flick on by Crystal Palace's Joachim Andersson, and of course Barcelona and former Chelsea centre-back Andres Christensen was there to head home, <coughs> was there to head home and equalise for Denmark. Good goal that was, to be honest. But France's second goal was phenomenal. Fantastic ball swung in, and it was a Brilliant ball swung in by Antoine Griezmann. And there was Kylian Mbappe. Right place, right time. Jumping up. The ball hit his left thigh and went in to the back of the Danish net. A fantastic goal by France. And that's why France, a lot of people are saying, can they win it again? They could. Oh, crap. Uh, they could. But I just, I don't think they will. Um, but, you know, to be honest, I think... I think, I think, you know, Usman Dembele played very well today. Mbappe had a good game. Looking at Denmark's side. Um, Denmark's side, I think Ericsson had a good game in midfield. Um, I think I think Ericsson was probably the best player for Denmark, in my opinion. I think he had a very good game in midfield, um, in my opinion. But man of the match today, I'm going to give it to Kylian Mbappe. Brilliant game, you know. Really did really well down the left-hand side for France. And obviously scored two goals and helped France to a very important win. For Denmark, it's a big game for them. The final group game against Australia. France have got Tunisia. And yeah, see you next time. And yeah, actually, see you for the next, for the final full-time reaction of the day for Argentina against It's-a-me, Mexico. Anyway, goodbye.